All right, let me move on to the other story that is hovering over the NFL today and will become front burner topic tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern when the U.S. House Oversight and Reform Committee takes up the matter of the Washington Commanders. Roger Goodell, the commissioner of the league, is testifying. Daniel Snyder persists in his refusal to accept the invitation to appear either in person or remotely and testify. There will be some obvious questions posed to Roger Goodell, but here's one that I thought of today. A topic that I think will be highly relevant as it relates to the transparency or lack thereof when the Beth Wilkinson investigation became consequences that were announced by the commissioner last July 1. We have complained since then, and I've been at the forefront of the people who have been banging the drum and carrying the the pitchforks and torches that there's been no transparency and there should be. Ask yourself this question. Between the team and the league, who would be more interested in having secrecy? If it was one or the other, Who benefits more from secrecy? Now, I've said, hey, if the facts come out as to whatever Daniel Snyder did, whatever really happened in the organization, his ongoing ownership of the team becomes untenable. What if it it doesn't? He's already despised. People already assume the worst of him, and he still hasn't had to sell the team. What if the facts come out and they are what they are? And Dan Snyder says, I'm not selling. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, you think it's a bad look? Well, okay, I'm still not selling the team. Make me. And the NFL would still find itself embroiled in a major litigation to try to get Daniel Snyder out. Flip it around, full transparency of the commander's investigation. How many more John Gruden's would be brought down by full transparency? How many other people who have either experienced minimal consequences to date or none whatsoever, all of a sudden would find themselves caught in these broader gears of dysfunction that resulted in the end result. What we know, how did we get to what we know? Who else is implicated? It could be that the league was the one that wanted things to be kept secret in order to protect other people. That it wasn't about protecting Dan Snyder. And remember, my position has always been, it's never been about protecting him. It's about protecting others. Protecting other owners from finding themselves in a similar spot where a disgruntled employee makes a complaint. One thing leads to another. An investigator is hired. That person goes in, starts turning over rocks and finding stuff, finding a magic bullet hidden under a rock somewhere that takes out the owner. That's part of it. But it could be there's just other stuff in there. Other stuff on par with John Gruden. Remember the Jeff Pash emails with Bruce Allen? And Bruce Allen has skated on this, relatively speaking. If you get full transparency, you're going to find out who did what and when, how involved Snyder was or wasn't, what allegations specifically apply to him and which ones don't. You could argue that the end result of full transparency would not make Daniel Snyder any less notorious or disliked in the eyes of the fan base and the general public, but also plenty of others that we don't know to have bad feelings about, they could end up having their careers come to a screeching halt. So I hadn't thought of it until today. And I think it's an important point to keep in mind tomorrow when the commissioner is grilled, whose idea was it? to keep it secret. Whose idea was it to come up with that cockamamie, stupid ass, sorry, explanation. Why am I apologizing? We're dropping S-bombs left and right on PFT Live. To come up with that cockamamie explanation that because some employees wanted anonymity, we must treat everything that we have found as a state secret. It makes no sense. It could be that the league, not the team, was the driving force behind, sweeping as much as possible under the rug. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.